Okay, hello Raoul, you are a sommelier at the restaurant Bridges in Ubud in Bali. That's very exceptional for us. Thank you. As I'm a French Canadian, Quebecoise from Montreal, and we are very proud to present you as a sommelier. You come from India. Absolutely. How your passion for wine has, has come? Well, uh, as from India, you know, India, it's not, it's not a wine drinking country. And the first time I actually had chance to taste wine it was in Switzerland. I studied, uh, I did my masters in hotel management, and we and I also had the uh, like a beverage and wine course. And my professor he encouraged me to go into wines. Then after Switzerland, after doing my masters, I went to the U.S. Uh, to do my internship, and that was the first time I got into wines. I did my advanced level of sommelier in US and in Hong Kong as well. So from all the way to India, to Switzerland, to the US. And after US, I went to Maldives for a couple of years where I did, where I actually worked as sommelier. After the Maldives, I went to Seychelles for three months. And then currently I'm in Bali, in Nabut for over 10 months. So you travel a lot and uh, how is it uh, to uh to make uh, to, to, to be a sommelier in Ubud in Bali because uh, people are not really they're more beer drinkers than wine drinkers. Well, again, uh, if you're in Bali and Bali, it's part of Indonesia and and, and Indonesia again, that's that's not a wine consuming country. Mm -hmm. But since Bali, it's a highly touristic uh, place. People from all over the world, uh, mm -hmm. France, Italy, from from Europe, from the America, and especially from Australia, all over the world, they come and visit Bali. And I know both, you know, it's actually very quiet or very mm -hmm. peaceful place to be there. And and it's it's a very exciting and challenging job okay. to be a sommelier. Okay, so now we, we have uh, easiers. We have some wine from uh, uh, made here. I mean, uh, with uh, Athen Athen wines. So, so can you explain to us this, uh, like this wine here? Uh, these are uh, sparkling wine. Absolutely. Okay. So Hutton, it's been he like Hutton is the the, the trademark of winery in Bali, mm -hmm. and it's been here more than twenty five years. Okay. And the winemaker is from Australia. His name is James. Um, Hutton label, they grow the grapes in Bali. It's gonna be be three hours drive from Mobut. It's yeah. gonna be up in the mountains. Do you know how many hectares they have? I'm actually not sure of, like how many hectares they have. Uh, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. Take, like 25, 30 hectares okay. probably. And then um, the grapes they grow are usually the the ancient French grapes, okay. uh, especially Alphonse de, okay. de la Ville. So, so now we have here Plaga. Plaga, Plaga is, uh, is... Plaga, it's a winery in like in Bali, it's like outside. It's not the Athens wine. No, it's not the Athens. So what they do in Plaga, it's they bring the grapes from Chile. Mm -hmm. They import the grapes to Bali, and then they make the wines in Bali. Okay, and this is here. We have two islands. Is uh, is it another uh, part of? Uh, is it is it part of uh, Athens. Athens wine? Yes. Yes. Uh, two so islands we have is a part of Athens. We have Shiraz, Pinot Noir, Cabernet okay. Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Grigio, Riesling, etc. Okay. Uh, to Ireland, the grapes that come from come from Australia, okay. and then they make the wines in Bali. So this is this this is a, a vrac uh, we call the vin en vrac. Yeah. And they they uh, they uh, bottle here. Or yes. Is it fermented in uh, Australia no. or? They bring the whole grapes okay. from Australia to Bali. They okay. ferment in Bali. They bottle in Bali. Okay. As well. What do you think about the uh, Indonesian wine that are made here, Latin wines? Well, Indonesian wines are actually quite young. You know, they are, they have. They are here for like 20, 25 years, and it's uh -huh. very, very the beginning. Uh -huh. uh, they will do actually quite well, uh, especially Hutton. They just received the best winery of Asia this wow. year, so that's a that's, so, that's, so that's a good that's a very, very good accomplishment they have, and I am pretty sure they will do quite good in the future as well. Okay, are they very uh, the altitude where they are growing the the the, the grapes? Are yes. they very, very high? In the mountains? Uh, no, uh, the mountains are gonna be actually around, if I'm not wrong, 400 to okay. 500 meters. You okay. know, and the main thing in Bali is it's gonna be be very sunny and very humid throughout the year. 
Okay. So they have at least two to three harvests in one year. Okay. Do you know when they, they harvest? At what time they harvest? They do three harvests in one year. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so that's yeah. That's why it's actually very warm and very humid uh -huh. and very sunny. Do you think harvest. that other people wanted to have va vineyards in uh, to grow uh, grapes in uh, Indonesia? Uh, I mean, in Bali, especially in Bali, because. Uh, it's more permitted to, to uh, for uh, alcohol. I mean, for Hatton, alcohol. Hatton, it's one of the main, and then you have Isola. Isola is okay. gonna be. What is? Isola, uh, the winemaker, is is Italian, and then instead of Hatton, which is, is gonna do, be. Do the they grow the, the, the grapes here? Yes. Okay. They do the, the Italian variety, especially Bermentino okay. and Trebbiano. They, they grow the grapes in Bali, and then they make the wine. Is it, is it the same place as uh, the other one? It's, it's pretty much the same place okay. as well. Yeah. Thank you very much.